Come on, everyone. Hey, hey. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Come on in on in as we get ready for our our well first lesson of this series that we will lead it into during these summer months. Well, thank you for coming on in. Uh, I promise you, I promise you, we're gonna get through these uh lessons. It's, about 14, 15 lessons, 14, 15 lessons that I um I have put together uh for this series, something that I've been working on for for a while now. And I'm glad to hear to share this with you on this great Wednesday day, uh, which is a great day, even though despite what you see outside, uh, this is a great day. Uh, despite what you are facing, still a great day. Um, like when in the beginning when uh God made the heaven and the earth. He said, this is good. Uh, so everything that you're dealing with, every situation that you are facing, it is good. Because um, it's good to prune you, grown to make you stronger and everything for this season. Uh, and it's also nothing but preparation for you, for where you're going. All right. So let's continue. Let's continue. I want y'all to come on in as we get ready to go into this great, 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 uh, lesson on today uh something that i've been working on again like i said before uh just come on in hit that like button hit that share button as we go into this lesson i uh, trust me this is just lesson one just just lesson one for today uh we got some upcoming lessons that's going to come um coming soon so Come on, be a part as we get ready to impartake in this conversation on today okay so if you see this mouse Okay, this mouse is not for you. The mouse is for me. Okay, uh, you see that arrow? That's for me. Okay, uh, I try to get get it all ready. Um, uh, uh, come on in, uh, Tish. Where you at, Tish? Tish, uh, I see you, Tish. Uh, where she at? Where she at? Uh, cause I don't know how to do this to see. Mm. See how can I do this? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Let's Hold on, Tish. Give me one second, y'all. I got to do something real quick. All right, all right. Just getting some stuff set on my end. I apologize that. Um, let's try to see where everybody is. There we go. There she is. There she is. Hello. There she is. Hey, there you are. There you are. Hey. Hey, how you doing on today? 
find yourself. I'm fine. I'm fine. Can't complain. Sorry about that. I had to find the invite button. Oh, okay. <laughs> My bad on that. But hey, I was just getting let them know we are about to get ready to begin on our um, first lesson, lesson number one, leading from the second chair. Um, matter of fact, I'm about to go into prayer and then we're going to go straight into the lesson. Uh, uh, how First, I want to say, how was your day? It was great. Just was great. Uh, my work day just ended. So, yeah. Yours? Hey, work is work. You know what that means. Yep. Yep. <laughs> For those who are on <laughs> Facebook and those who's watching on YouTube, if you don't know what work is work means, well, you haven't been working long enough. Okay. That's <laughs> You haven't been working long enough, okay? Yes. When you when you hear someone say, "Oh, I was working," they say, "Work." Ah. Yep. It was work. work. <laughs> it was work. All right. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's do this, Tish. I'm gonna go open up the prayer, and then Tish, we're gonna go straight into the lesson. Uh, I don't know if you can see my screen. I don't know if you can. Yes. Okay. Um. Also, those on people on Facebook, this is a presentation. So with that, just follow along with us as we go into this presentation. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go into it. All right. Uh, Heavenly Father, oh God, we thank you on today for another chance, another opportunity. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to be here on this present day, not allowing us to be viewed, but here on this present day, allowing us to have favor, allowing us to have grace and mercy upon our lives, allowing us to be in our current state and where you are about to move us to in this present time. Lord, we thank you for the stretching. Lord, we thank you for the building. Lord, we thank you for the tearing down of that you are doing within us in this season. Lord, we thank you for the pouring of the Holy Ghost that you put in our lives, oh God. Lord, we ask you that you put fresh oil upon us, fresh anointing on us. Lord, as we go into these lessons, upon the course of this season when we ask you allow us to take these lessons and apply these lessons to our lives even in the marketplace and how we conduct business with others how we conduct business with our own businesses or how we conduct business in the ministry how we do conduct business in the kingdom Lord, we thank you for just even allowing us to trust us for this time, for a time as this. This now we declare in Jesus' name, amen. Uh, for those who are, uh, uh, those that's on here on Facebook, please hit that like button, hit that share button. I promise you, I am a man of my word. When I say we're going to be done within the next 40 minutes, we are going to be done within the next 40 minutes, okay? Because uh, these are quick lessons that we're going to be going to. Again, if you have not yet, Receive that book. Tish, if you can, type it in on Facebook for me. Uh, if you have not re uh, read this book or download the audio, okay, Leading from the Second Chair, okay, by Roger Patterson, okay, Roger Patterson, okay, Leading from the Second Chair. Also, there's another book that I'm asking for you to get as well, which we'll be dealing with, um, of course it is. It is my favorite book. Uh, my favorite book, I will have to say. Uh, it's the Holy Bible, people. If you have not had the Holy Bible, people, please get the Holy Bible. Download it on your apparatus, okay? All right, download it today, please, okay? Uh, the type of Bible that we are leading from, um, uh, uh, pretty much we are going to be reading from, is the um, uh, King James Version of maxwell leadership bible uh if you do not know what that is i'm gonna show you what exactly what that is Give me one second, sure. uh, the john well maxwell bible looks like this this is how it looks it's different versions of it but that's the type of version that we're going to be reading from as well okay our narrative is coming from leading from the second chair but our foundation is coming from the bible okay i want you to understand that our narrative is coming from leading from the second chair, but our foundation is coming from the Holy Bible, okay? Because uh, we are Bible-believing church. Everything that we do, we live by the word. We try to walk according to the word and live th through the word, okay? All right. Uh, thank you so much, Tish, for posting that. Thank you so much. Uh, for those, again, hit that like button, hit that share button. If you have any questions or anything like that, please don't hesitate to ask. So let's get into it, Tish. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's go. 
Let's see. All right. Lesson number one. All right, Tish. This is the very most important, very important lesson. Okay, for the big, this for to be the first lesson. Lesson number one is leading the first person. Leading the first person. Who is the first person, Tish? Can you take a wild guess who the first person is? Bishop. No, 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 oh. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, no. Leading the first person. You know who the first person is? Yeah, Tish, I'm going to try, try again. Um, God. Yourself. Oh, yours. Oh, well, yeah, of course. <laughs> first person. You must lead. Come on, Tish. I, that's why I love messing with you, Tish. The first person. It's not a hard question. The first person you must lead. <laughs> All right, people. All right, listen. Uh, Josh said, God, yeah. Said, the first person you lead is yourself. Okay. Remember, right. I'm talking about leading from the second chair. Okay. The first person you lead, that is yourself. Okay. All right. Let's go to Hebrews, the 13th chapter, verse number seven, which is my one of my favorite books of the Bible. If you don't have a favorite book in the Bible, come and holler at me. I guarantee you, I got some books of the Bible that you need to read. Gonna bless your life. Okay. All right. It's better than uh, Housewives of Atlanta. It's better than uh, P Valley is better than Power is better than all those shows. Okay, <laughs> I think you know what I'm talking about. She you know what I'm talking about. Me, never mind. I was about to start singing, but never mind. I leave that alone. I leave that alone, people. I leave that alone. All right. Uh, 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 um, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Hebrews 13, chapter verse number seven. And it says, "Remember your leaders who speak the word of God to you." Okay. Uh, uh, consider the outcome of the way of their life and implemented their faith. Hebrews the uh, 13th chapter, verse number seven, okay? All right, uh, here we go. To be a successful leader, the first person you must lead, to you, the first person you must learn to lead is yourself. Say it with me, Tish. Yourself. But yourself, people. <laughs> Okay, you gotta lead yourself. Okay, you got you got to lead yourself. All right, Tish, I'm gonna help you out today. We're gonna we're gonna help each other today, Tish. <laughs> so, reason why we laughing because we we got this relationship. So don't worry about it. Oh, sorry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> she know why we laughing. Okay, all right. Uh, yourself, you will not be uh you will not be the biggest beneficiary of your leadership. Society will leadership. Le uh, leaders lead by influence influence is the currency of leadership okay i know a lot of us think that uh why uh why we begin in this lesson why it says leading the first person and the first person you must lead is yourself because uh a lot of times we don't think as leaders we are leading ourselves for example, when I ask who's the first person who you leading, a lot of us, I guarantee you, even on Facebook, on YouTube, everybody on Instagram, whatever, whoever watching or hearing this at this point in time or watching or replay, I guarantee you, when I said that question, I guarantee you all thought about either God, your bishop, or someone else. Guarantee. And it's kind of funny because uh, Roger uh, Patterson in the book talks about how we forget the foundation of leading, how we conduct ourselves, how we view ourselves, how we imply and install values and morals in ourselves in the beginning when we are leading, before we become the lead. Before, I like put it like this, Tish, we, before we became capital L, we had to be lowercase l. Y'all catch that later. Right, right. You, <laughs> okay, that's before you become capital L, you have to be lowercase L. And the lowercase L state and points is the beginning of you leading yourself. You find out in your lowercase state points, you find out with some of your qualities that you have as a leader. You find out what type of influence that you have on people, the pros and the cons. 
you find out what your weaknesses are. You find those out when you're in lowercase l. And you still, as a great leader, when you become a capital L as far as leadership, you still find those things out because you always go back to the basics. So my question to you, Tish, who is the first person that you lead? Yourself. There you go. Look at the confidence in that. The first <laughs> person you lead is yourself. Now, again, if y'all have questions, please post them on the comments on Facebook. If you have any questions on Instagram, or YouTube, please put it in the comment section. I guarantee we're going to get back with you and with those because this was a great lesson we are going to start with today. This is lesson number one on leading from the second chair, okay? But we're talking about from the aspect point of leading, the lesson number one, leading the first person, and which is you, okay? All right. Leading the first person, leading the first person, leading the first person, okay? As we go into the second slide, look, look I'm telling you, we, we moving quickly, okay? This is a quote that I found in which in, um, uh, 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 Tish, I don't know if you go to like board meetings or staff meetings or anything like that. Uh, do you, I Tish? Do. Huh? I do. What they call you, what they have, staff meetings, what they call yours meetings? Staff like? meetings. Staff meetings, okay, all right. I have, there now I have staff meetings. I have uh senior staff meetings okay which is kind of mm -hmm. crazy and then there's union meetings mm -hmm. so i'm like i'm sick and tired of meetings okay and it all, makes sense though <laughs> yeah it, because they're dealing with three different aspects that i have to put myself in okay uh uh in your staff meeting oh well my staff meetings a lot of times the plant manager or someone, a VP who comes in, they always come in with the quotes from other leaders, which mm -hmm. I appreciate because I'd be like, oh, shoot, nuggets. You know, I'm like, oh, I never heard that. Let me get that. Uh, but at the same time, they come with quotes. Uh, that lets you know how this meeting is about to go. Right. <laughs> when right. they start with the quote, you be like, oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. You already know how the meeting goes, and a lot of times, uh, like in, even in ministry, when you know uh, when the pastor or the bishop calls up for a uh, church meeting, <laughs> you already know how the tonality comes when they start off. Like, oh, here we go. Yep, we about to go left. <laughs> Everybody, you buckle. You yeah, are you buckle? Because we about to go for a ride. <laughs> anyway, all right, here we go. Uh, 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 here we go. Leadership. Uh, this is one of the quotes from uh, Robert McDonald, the former CEO and chairman of uh, Procter & Gamble. If you don't know what Procter & Gamble is, please go go, go get you a Fortune 500 book, okay? Never mind, forget it. Anyway, <laughs> uh, leadership is the scariest resource and the most important resource in the world. Nothing happens without leadership. That's the quote. Mm-hmm. Now, if you hear that in the meeting, what do you hear yourself? What do you hear, Tish? What do you hear? <laughs> what do you hear? When they say leadership is the scariest resource and the most important resource in the world, you'd be like, what? What are we, what? What are we doing? <laughs> oh, okay. I see <laughs> where it is about to go. Somebody messed up somewhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. Somebody wasn't leading. Somebody wasn't leading. Somebody Drop the ball. Drop the ball somewhere. <laughs> or some leader is not taking accountability of their actions. And so now we all got to sit here. So now sit. all of us, all <laughs> these leaders in here, we're going to sit here together. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know about you. I don't know about you. Josh, uh, Derek, I don't know if you're on here, but I don't know about you. Been in those meetings, you'd be like, okay. All right, and you're trying to figure out who dropped the ball. Yep. <laughs> like who put us in this predicament? Like who put us in this predicament? Like I'm blaming that person right here, right now. Who put us in here? <laughs> you're the cause of this. Yeah. Sometimes you are. You automatically know who did it, <laughs> but you just like, uh, mm. yeah. I'm and you it. don't and look. And Tish, you don't even sit by him. You just sit yep. across him. <laughs> just look at him like. You know they're talking about you, right? <laughs> it doesn't matter. I mean, okay, let's talk about it. Okay, look, 
uh, 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 with this quote, this is a great uh, profound quote. Yes, leadership is the scariest resource because we have a lot of people are bosses, but not leaders. Absolutely. We have a lot of pastors, bishops. I'm not, I'm, I'm just saying these people, elders, ministers, people in, in teaching roles in general are in leadership position, but don't know how but to not lead. leaders. But yeah, don't not, they are not leaders or they never led themselves. I'm pretty sure most of them can't lead themselves to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm just talking what I'm talking about. I'm just talking. I'm just talking about what I'm talking about, Tish. Talk about talking, what you talk about. I'm just, talking about <laughs> I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. I'm not. I'm not pointing fingers. I ain't saying negative. Leadership is an ability, a talent, a talent, or a skill to influence people to follow a action, an idea. A standard, a vision, and a goal. I don't meant to. I ain't meant to put or, but I meant to put and goal. See, Tisha, or me, me or you say how I, the copy I gave you is different than what I got. <laughs> yes. See, that's 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 what I do. Okay, this is what I do for a living. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. Besides the point. Okay. Listen to this. The leadership. Is defined as the ability uh, is a defined as ability uh, is an ability a talent or a skill. Come on now, let's be honest. Let's all be honest. We can name five or six people in our workforces, or people that we in the Congo, or people that we deal with, and uh, don't have it. Don't have the ability of leadership, and it's okay. To admit and say I don't have this skill set. Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with this. There's nothing wrong with saying this is not where my strong suit is. Instead of being the person that steps up and drops the ball because Correct. you didn't want to be accountable and say or be honest and say this is not me. True. If you know the shoe size is too big, don't or put your foot in it. Don't put your foot in it, people. Or too small. Or too small. <laughs> Definitely too small. If it's too small, that means you're not growing. <laughs> and you need to go somewhere else where it fits you. But that, that well, that's a whole nother. We'll, we'll get to that later. <laughs> it's, it's part of the lesson plans later on, of course, at this time. It's part of those, but trust and believe we'll get to that. All right. But the influence of people to follow in action. To follow a action. Think about it. One of the hard, one of the hardest jobs that I admire, and I and a lot of people don't admire, is a teacher. They underpaid, they underappreciated, mm-hmm. but they have one of the, they have to have leadership skills. Absolutely. Think about it. Only reason why I say that is because I I, I just thought I, I've been thinking about it, and I was like, I'm an, I'm such amazed at the leadership skills that my wife has. Mm-hmm. Only reason why I say that is because the way she takes a group of kids year after year, getting from one point a juncture to the next point in preparation. Yeah. And the influence that they had, that he she has over them, meaning like a kid that graduated from her from kindergarten a long time ago, they still remember her and be like, "Oh, Miss Honey, blah blah blah." Um, and you, she sees them like, "Oh my God, you're so big! What school are you at? You doing so well? Wow!" Yeah. Influence. Good leadership. One of the greatest, uh, one of the stories that I loved in the Bible, Tish, is, is uh, which a lot of people uh, take, read it into uh, the wrong way or looking in the wrong way, is the first miracle, right? The first miracle, if you never want to know what the first miracle I'm referring to, the first miracle I'm referring to is that uh, Jesus turned the water into wine. 
Everyone looks at the first miracle of him turning the water into wine as such an amazing. Like, look what he did. Mm -hmm. Right? But there's a character in the story that a lot of people don't give reverence to. Who do you think that is? Get someone on Facebook. Somebody. Can anyone guess who's this character in the story? I tell you. Mary. Her, his mother. She went to Jesus and said, hey, can you do this for me? She did not do the act, but she had the influence. She did not, she did not force Jesus, but Jesus says and said, I trust you and I will do this for you. She, Jesus didn't do it for them. She did, he did it for the influence that his mother had on him. Influence is an important skill set to have as a leader, especially when you're becoming from a lowercase L to a capital L. Leadership is not just a role of one place but it's also the life of one leads character counts is the most important thing for a leader which brings me back to the uh, the first miracle Mary character counted if you look at the story Jesus is trying to, he was hesitant. He did not want to do it. Mary pleaded with him. Jesus did. Skill set. Remember, we just said what, what is some of the skill sets of leadership? The skill to influence people. Mm -hmm. Mary influenced Jesus to come out and do this act. For her, y'all's missing. Come on, preacher. I got it. I'm listening. I'm, I'm following. Look, 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 look. I, I need y'all to go ahead and send your offering right here, right now. <laughs> <laughs> send your offering right now, okay? <laughs> to World Restoration Ministry Cash App us right now. Three one three W R M. Yeah. We all go to Giveify, okay? Search mm -hmm. if you don't know what Giveify is. Giveify is a website or an app. Which certifies all nine five hundred one c three organizations, all religious organizations certifies them. Say this is a five hundred one c three company. Which which uh, organization? Which means by the state by the United States of America recognized that us World Restoration Ministries is a right standing. Just y'all just in case you know what give a fire really what it what it really does, what it means. But anyway, for those so you, so, you gonna preach give a fire. Uh, I did. I, I felt like preaching. Yeah, you just preached I, it. You preached I, that. I, just, I need give five <laughs> send an offering right now. Give Great five. Word. Send <laughs> give five send an offering right now. Okay. <laughs> I send an offering. I'm, I'm sponsoring give five right now. Okay. They gotta make sure they put in word restoration, Detroit, Michigan. Make sure they put in Detroit, Michigan. Because there's word restoration ministry is in Alabama somewhere. And I don't know. Yeah, somewhere. I ain't know those people in Alabama. Okay, red dirt. Okay, <laughs> if you don't know what red dirt means, then you haven't been to the South. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, character counts and is the most important thing for leadership. All right. Remember, who we are we leading, Tish? Who are we leading? Tish, no, you don't know. Uh, who we lead? Ourselves. There we go. We are leading the first person ourselves. It's no way impossible for you to be a follower and be a leader if you don't know how to lead yourself. One of my favorite quotes out of the uh, John Maxwell Leadership Bible. Here we go. True leadership cannot be awarded 
or appointed or assigned. It only comes from what my favorite word of the day. What is my favorite word of the day, Tish? Influence. Mm -hmm. Influence. Leaders have influence. Leaders can make men to do a act, create a standard, and create a system like no other. Go on to the next point where it says managers focus on maintaining a uh, maintaining system and process. Leaders focus on the growing of people. See, uh, uh, a lot of times when we're in the workplace, I know there is uh, uh, a system that's in place, a process that's in place that gives you to produce. But a leader gets the longevity out of you. A good supervisor, a good manager, a good pastor, they will they will weed out the things that they are, uh, 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 that is a, a uh, um, uh, um, how I can say, devalue that's in you or that's not a productive value of you. But it takes those things that you are good at and produce it and create more out of you. Stretch you. you. Strengths. Yes. A leader identifies your strengths and use your strengths for your advantages. Do you know one strength would overthrow four weaknesses, five weaknesses that you have? Do you know one of your strengths will take out five of your weaknesses? Mm -hmm. Things that you say that you're not good at. I'm just talking about things you say. Like, oh, okay, I know I'm not good at this. I'm not good at that. But that one strength, and you master that, that those other things that you say you feel as weakness, it won't even matter. It doesn't matter because your skill set that you have, that skill that you master, make outshines and outgrows any type of flaw that you have. All right. There's our four essential things in your leadership uh, journey. There are four, Tish. Yes. Uh, okay. We're talking about who we leading, Tish. Yourself. There we go. We're going back. We go, I'm just making sure we understand. We're all <laughs> on the same page, people. I'm listening. We are leading ourselves, okay? We are leading ourselves, okay? Four essential things that you need to know about your leadership journey, okay? Here we go. Here we go. You ready? Defining, defining your values. All right, people. We're in 2022. I understand the values you had in 1998, you probably don't still have those values. You remember that uh, values that you remember back then? You, uh, I don't even think you remember this, Tish, but you remember back in um, elementary where the teacher would make you, you know write you out? Old. Huh? I said, because you know you old, so I might not remember. Uh, whoa, 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 Tish. But we're not about to <laughs> do this because we know we are the same age group, okay? We are millennials, okay? <laughs> <laughs> all right anyway <laughs> she <tried> to go. <laughs> anyway you remember okay so she back in the day where uh uh where the teacher the only reason i remember this because kelly was talking about this uh a couple of days ago and she said how she make her kids right i am you know i am smart i am kind all that she make them, oh yeah those things you remember doing that yes okay uh, I remember uh, this teacher. His name is Mr. Graham. Uh, Mr. Graham, uh, uh, shout out to Parkman Elementary School in Detroit, Michigan. It's still standing. It's still there. Part, still part of DPS. Still there. Anyway, that ain't the point. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Graham, I remember him. I, look, there goes that. You know, there's some people that in your life you will always remember. Mr. Graham, a black male teacher, he told us. Every day, he made us read this chart on the board, okay? The poster on the board, not chart, poster on the board. And it just said that I am, you know, it didn't say I'm smart. It said I am a productive citizen. I will succeed in life and the things that I want to do. Just some different things. 
it was like an affirmation. Like yes. and each right. one was different because my teacher used to make us say something out loud too every day. Every day. But you know what they was doing, right? It was building you up, helping building you, you out and, yeah. and giving you values. Yeah. Giving you standards, giving you a foundation. Absolutely. And a lot of times when we go to church, when we go into ministries, a lot of times we go in there with a uh, concept of, of, of uh, how can I put this in a nice way? With a, I just want to be a part of something. Mm-hmm. But we don't come in with the expectation of, okay, what values I'm about to get and put it in me. Right. Values are very important in your leadership because those are your foundation. Those are your morals. There's your compass, your, your center dot, your pin. If you, got, uh, if you got an iPhone, you know what I'm talking about. Your pin. I know Tish got an iPhone. She I do that pin you know that's your that's your that's your center location your foundation like this is what I stand and believe in this is my foundation this is what my morals <laughs> and values my characteristics are grown from number two Tish here we go identify your strengths Ooh. we already said that yep we already established that you know what your strengths are. If I ask and challenge everyone right now on Facebook, on Instagram, YouTube, wherever, on the replay, if you can't tell me five strengths that you have right now on top of your head, I need you to go reevaluate yourself. Go back to the back to the little L. I know you're wearing a uh, you're wearing the capital L shirt on, but I need you to go back to the little L. <laughs> And then identify your strengths. Everyone has strengths. You notice I didn't say strength. Like one individual. Yeah. It says strengths. That means more than one. More than multiple. Plural. Everyone has strengths. Okay. So I need you to take that and put that in you and say, like, dang. I do. I am good at that. That is my strong suit. I am. I do have that ability. I may see it not, but I, I see it now. I do have that. All right. The third thing, which ties into number two, which ties into number one. Mm-hmm. Recognize your weaknesses. I want to let you know. There's no such thing as a perfect leader. <clears throat> There's no such thing as a perfect boss. There's no such thing as a perfect pastor. No such thing as a perfect bishop. There's no such thing as a perfect church. Not in today's world. There's a perfect church in the Bible, yes. We can talk about revelations later, but we can go into that later. But that, mm-hmm. Church is a hospital. You have all types of diseases. You got some people that's in the, in the ICU. You got some people that's in surgery. You got some people that's in the... Uh, um, uh, what do we call that? Uh, in the in the emergency room, you got some people that's just getting a checkup. You got some people just waiting in the in the waiting room, and you still have people coming in constantly. And why everyone is still in the hospital? Guess what? There's someone there who's working on them. God is right there working on them, dealing with them where they are at that point, a juncture. So where you think is your weakness is, you think no, God is not addressing it, trusting and believe he is addressing it. Yes, he is. It might not be what you think it needs to be or according to your plan or your schedule, but he dressed things in his order. Not your order, 
in his order. Not in your time, in his time. Come on and preach. Send the offering. Where's the offering at? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Again, money simple. 343. <laughs> WRA. Cash app us, okay? <laughs> Cash app us. Okay? Number four. Acceptance of your anticipate. Anticipate. I'm sorry. Anticipate your acceleration. Anticipate your acceleration. Anticipate that growth. You got to, yes, Tish, anticipate the growth. Uh, Bishop sent me a text earlier uh, this week, and uh, it's not one of those text messages that I, I haven't got in a while. You know, just like, oh, okay, I see where you at this morning. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you just, oh, you just got out of the prayer closet. Okay, <laughs> I understand. I receive in the name of Jesus. <laughs> That's all you can say. You said. You don't respond back, but you just hold the message and you wait for that heart emoji to come up and you just press it or you send that thumbs up, you know, or you send that an exclamation point. You'd be like, uh, yeah, it. <laughs> you got to accept your growth, your acceleration. God is stretching you. He is forming you for a time as this. Mm -hmm. I don't care. You don't like it. The more you don't like it, the more the stretching takes place. The more that you fight with it, the yep. more pain, the suffering that takes place. The more displacement that takes place. The more of the agony takes place. I only talking to what I'm talking about because I know what I'm talking about because I've been through there. <laughs> Period. <laughs> I only can talk this way because I know what you do, what you're going through. Okay. Anyway. All right. Here we go. You know, go ahead. Why my PowerPoint didn't look like this? But go ahead. Uh, I just send you a template of what. Right. What is be talking about? This okay. is the presentation. I said. This, I mean, it says it this, says this, the same thing. Yes, this, I get it. It says the same thing. No word and change this. Absolutely. This is just the presentation form. See, okay, this is the final display. You know, I send Got rough it. drafts. I send rough drafts. Like, okay, here we go. Got it. But when we present, you're like, oh, oh, okay. Anyway, leading the first person. Who's the first person? <laughs> yourself. Yes, it's yourself. Okay. Okay. How? Okay, let's go into this. You ready? Read yep. the first bullet point. Read the first four for me. <coughs> okay, leading the first person. How being a good leader benefits you. Mm -hmm. Promotion. Hold on. Promotion. Promotion. Increase. Enlarging of tent. Blessed in the city. Blessed in the field. Blessed coming and going. We're talking about a harvest. We're talking about eyes have not seen, nor have ears have heard. Mm -hmm. We're talking about wherever my foot shall trot upon shall be mine. Mm. I'm talking about promotion, increase. But also with promotion, it talks about another thing we, which we'll get into later because when you go up, there's another level of of things that you have to deal with. But anyway, go ahead. No, that's, that's, yeah. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Flourish in business slash organization. Mm -hmm. Better communication in your team. Mm, okay. Now, which brings the most important thing because the so simple fact is you become from lowercase L to capital L, okay? Um, your communication skill with your team, with the people that you work with in the kingdom of God, the people that you work in with in your uh, um, at your workplace, or uh, people you work for, uh, people that work for you in your business, your skill set becomes better. Learn how to talk to people and deal with situations. Dealing with customer service skills is very key. Yes. 
that is in every business, in every walks of life. Customer service. Why do you think people will pay people in customer service so much money? Yeah. Because you got to deal with the people. You got to learn how to take them from 100 to 10. Yep. You got to learn how to help someone who don't know what they need help in. That is, I don't see y'all. Y'all missed what I just said. You gotta help someone that that they do not know that they need help, <coughs> or they in denial that they need help. That's another part. That's a that's a dash A. Okay. Absolutely. Then dash B is saying they don't want to accept the help. Leadership. When you're called to this thing, you're born in this thing. It comes to you, and it, it's in your pores. You can't help but to help people. Communication, customer service skills, all is very important. Yes. In the church, in the marketplace, in the world. Everywhere. Everywhere, in your family, in your relationships. It's very important. Go ahead. I'm sorry. You accomplish your goals. You gain confidence. Mm -hmm. Your your influence and voice grows. Hold on, hold on. That's important. Influence, your favorite word. My favorite. You know, that's my favorite word of the day. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I love the word. You know it. Influence. (laughs) You know that's my favorite word. Influence. Your influence spreads. Voice grows. Your voice grows. What how do your voice grows when you're when I it's like this? It's like uh, I'm gonna use this in church vernacular. Uh when bishops speak and then you start sounding just like her. Her voice is growing because the influence that she has on you. Mm-hmm. You find yourself saying things like you know, my bishop would have said this in this point of situation. Mm-hmm. Your voice growing. Your influence is growing. When your influence grows, your voice grows. So you're spreading like a wildfire. I'm not saying I'm speaking wildfire is about to happen. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is your influence spreads uncontrollably. Absolutely. People be like, hey, you know who you sound like? Who taught you that? You wise. Mm-hmm. How did you how did you handle that? How did you handle those people like that? You must got that from somebody. Not knowing that you got this from your leadership. You got this from being patient. Dealing with situations time and time again. Putting yourself in those situations and how, what to do and not what not to do. Influence, my favorite word, everyone knows. If you don't know my favorite word today is, it's influence. I feel like Steve Harvey. Today's word of the day. <laughs> today's word of the day is influence. My influence is important to me. My influence is so important to me. It's more, it's like, it's like my name. When you hear my name, you hear my influence. When you hear my name, you hear my voice. Go ahead. You become a walking solution. Hold on. <laughs> Here we go. I like Here's that one. A, listen, listen, people. Listen. Listen, a leader is not a P. A leader is an S. What is a P? A problem. Mm-hmm. What's an S? A solution. Do you know, I'm just talking, I'm not trying to toot my own horns, but someone gave me a compliment today and I really took it and I was like, I really appreciate it because I needed to hear that. Mm-hmm. They said unto me, the reason why I called on depend on you so much because I know you have a solution. 
You all, yeah. everyone, everyone else always so, like, far, well, I'm like, I don't know, or we should just do this. They don't come with the solution. Absolutely. My job is to solve problems. Quick fires. My job, what I do on daily day on a daily basis, is to solve problems. Every problem in my department, in the general assembly, in manufacturing, I usually have my hand on it, and people will listen to me because it's so far they see my work, they know I have uh, a great influence on others, and I know how to get it done. Mm-hmm. And most importantly. <coughs> Goes back to this. I know how to talk to people. Mm-hmm. What? Oh, okay. Suffer Tish. Oh, okay. I have to put that disclaimer in there. If your name is Tish, <laughs> you're just gonna get the business. Okay. <laughs> but she can take it. You know, that's my Detroit dog. You know, yeah. you understand. You know what? You know what I'm saying? Back in the day. Anyway, Dexter. Hey, right, Dexter, baby. <laughs> <But anyway. laughs> All right, last one, most important one. Go ahead. Leadership is for everyone, but you must first discover the leadership capacity within you. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> leadership is in everyone, but you must first discover it. That's why you must lead what? The first person. Yourself. Yes, lead yourself. Lead yourself. And a lot of times, a lot of leaders don't, don't know how. <laughs> they don't know how. And when you're in that second seat, you're in that second seat. It's impossible for you to follow, follow the leader and you don't know how to lead yourself. Because the leader... echoes to you and you echo what the leader says. Again, send our offer. <laughs> send our offer. I'm, I'm drop, I'm, I feel like Jay-Z. I'm, I'm, I'll give you $9.99 worth of dime, million dollar information for $9.99. I feel like it. Y'all going to see me on TED Talk real too, real soon. This is good information for a lot of different places. Like you said, in the workplace, church, your everyday life, just going out and about, learning how to talk to people and be different than what you were used to. Mm -hmm. Like, honestly, I mean, transparency here, I done came a long way with how I talk to people. So. A long way, people. Y'all don't know. Whoa, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. I ain't supposed to agree. <laughs> I, I gotta learn. I gotta learn. I gotta learn. I gotta learn. My bad, people. Go ahead. Sorry, Tish. Go ahead. Go ahead. I ain't say that. But nothing. yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, like, this is good information to use every day, not just for this moment, just to keep it and use it every single day. Every single day. That's why the best leader knows how to go back to the foundation. Mm-hmm. The best leader is the best servant. You guys missed that. Okay. One of the best bosses I ever had was always trying to take care of me and what I need. Mm-hmm. The reason why I had one of the best bishops in the world is because my bishop sacrificed and makes sure she tried to take care of the flock. Yes. Because she understands. My bishop understands. The people take care of, the church will take care of, the ministry still could continue. My voice still grows. My influence takes place. And my voice grows. Again, sing your offering. I ain't playing with y'all. Sing your offering. Cash app. Cash app. Money simple. 313. WR. Go to give a five. Search for World Restoration Ministries in Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, Michigan. Okay. I pray that this lesson has been a blessing unto you. Guaranteed next week we're going to get into the next lesson. And next week's lesson, we're going to talk about leader from the second chair. 
we're going to talk about another great, great lesson. Should we give him a little tea a bit? I don't know. I don't know. Should I? The nah. ability of the leader, integrity. Yeah, yeah. There we go. We're going to talk about that. That's a huge part of leadership. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But anyway, we'll talk about the integrity of leadership. Okay. We always start, we we just tore the ground in lesson number one. Lesson number two next week. And leader from the second chair begins. Join us every Wednesday, 6 p.m. on Facebook Live. Okay. Set your notifications. Set your notification. Go watch this on replay. We're gonna post this on YouTube where you can watch this. Like, tag, and share. And send your offering. Send your don't no, I ain't gonna say offer. Send your donation. Yeah, I believe in, yeah, I believe in someone right now who's listening, who's watching. It's gonna sell a hundred thousand dollars. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe blessings gonna come out of nowhere. Amen. From strange places, from strange people. Amen. When I say strange people, I mean it with a strange tongue that just does not have to deal with us. Okay. I don't want people to get offended when I'm saying I'm just saying strange. <laughs> okay. All right. Talking about strange. green beans. I'm talking about green bean casserole. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, be quiet. Don't say nothing. <laughs> don't say nothing. <laughs> don't say nothing. <laughs> don't say nothing. <laughs> but anyway, again, this was a great honor and a privilege. Uh, we'll do this again next week. Uh, we're going to lesson number two. Again. If you do not have the book, that this is our narrative, our narrative, okay? If you don't know what narrative means, I need you to go, our narrative, okay? Leading from the Second Chair by uh, Roger Patterson. Our, and our foundation is always going to come from the Word of God, the Holy Bible, okay? Those are two things you need as we go into this Bible Talk conversation for the next uh, up team weeks, okay? Uh, talking about leader from the Second Chair, we're still talking about leadership, okay? Leadership for today, leadership for ministry, leadership for the marketplace, leadership in your life. We are dealing with those factors of leadership, okay? All right. Thank you so much, Tish, for being on here. Uh, Greatly appreciate you. Um, maybe we can get some more people on here and we'll rock out. All right? All right. All right. Uh, again, everyone, we love you. We appreciate you. Don't forget, go to church on Sunday. Go praise the Lord. Go give him his glory. All right? See y'all until next time. We love you and appreciate you. Bye-bye.